Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the season opener. We have the Broncos going up against the Miami Dolphins. Broncos on the road here. We're in Hard Rock Stadium, home of the Dolphins, of course. Broncos will kick off to start the season. This one is away, and it will be returned a yard out of the end zone, and he's taken down at about the 23-yard line. Here we go, here we go. Here so we go. out comes Tua Tungavailoa leading the offense in his second year. Those are his, some of his attributes. He's still pretty good, uh, and he is pretty young as well. So here is the first play of the year. Tua under center. Broncos show pressure. They run it outside for about six. Here is the Miami offense. Offensive line, not the greatest uh, as it went one of their weaknesses. And the Miles Gaskin is the main back with an, a pretty average receiving core. Second and five here. They come out two backs to a play fake. Got time, throws it right side, and that is caught. That is Devontae Parker, the number one receiver. Third and very long. The show pressure, play fake. Outside, that is the tight end. The fourth and long here. They come out. In the field goal team. This one is up. It is good. So Miami takes the three point lead. It's pretty open. Here's the Broncos offense. The offensive line starting at left tackle is Mike Bowers. He's the rookie. And then the two running backs, Melvin Gordon and Phil Lindsay. On the ready. 54, right there, right there. 54 miles. Hey, echo. Don't forget about Corlin Sutton. He led the league in receiving last year. This one goes short to Tim Patrick for about eight. Sutton is wide left. They go three right. He's got time thrown. Caught by Judy. Judy breaks a tackle across the 50 yard line. They motion Gordon out on second and 10. And he'll throw it short in coverage. And it's intercepted. Xavier Howard, and I'm not sure who Locke was, or what Locke was trying to do there. Oh man. But it is third and short here. And they play fake. Thrown outside, and it's intercepted. Bryce Callahan has it. He's returning it. Last year he had a pick six. And he takes it out of bounds, so Denver will get the ball back. That one was off the mark as there was heavy pressure. Second and five here. Uh, we know, talking to the coaching staff, they want to get the running game more involved here this year. And that's a good run for Melvin Gordon. After back-to-back -back runs, we start the second quarter. And they play fake. Thrown outside. Caught. Jerry Judy, another big catch for him. So Melvin Gordon is the back on third and inches. It is very close to the sticks. They give it to him. Gordon, touchdown! Broncos take the lead here, and that's the first touchdown of the year. Melvin Gordon. Offense after a couple big plays. They go two receivers right. Thrown over the middle, caught Gesicki. Way downfield inside the red zone. Bunch right, one receiver left. And they run it with Gaskin. And the ball came out. Denver has it. Third and maybe one. Philip Lindsay is in again on third down. And they give it to him. Lindsay is stopped shy of the sticks. Gaskin the lone back, just under a minute left. Throw over the middle, wide open is Patrick Williams, down inside the 15 yard line. First and goal from the two, clock is running. They play fake, throw, caught, touchdown, Miami. Sutton is slot left, I'm gonna, wa I'm gonna be watching him this play. Throw, Sutton, got it. 
and he hangs on through the contact. Cortland Sutton, third and long. He'll throw it up. Gordon, he caught it! What a catch! Melvin Gordon! He comes in on third down, runs a wheel route, and goes up and gets the ball over the linebacker. Second and nine, they go three receivers left, Gaskin the back, and they play fake to Gaskin. He's got time, throw it over the middle, and it's way off target. That's intercepted by Jackson, and the Broncos will get the ball. Kareem Jackson, and that throw is nowhere near any of the Miami receivers. So they come out here, field goal formation. This one is up. And it is good. Second and five. Denver shows pretty heavy pressure. Miami hands it off and he's stopped after about five. Third and 12. They need a first down here. They're down by a touchdown. Throw outside. Tight coverage. And he caught it. Mike Gesicki, what a catch. Gordon the back once again. They have three receivers out wide. And they give it to Gordon. Up the middle, he has a huge hole. Gordon breaking tackles up to close to the 50 yard line. Melvin Gordon. They come out, it's a 60 yard field goal. McManus has hit from this distance before. This one is up. It is good. 60 yards, Brandon McManus. And they have a seven point lead. Third and long and the back is Melvin Gordon. We've seen him have some big carries today. Miami still has two timeouts left. They give it to him. Gordon uh, is about seven. So the punt team is on. But it's blocked. It, the punt was blocked. And Miami has it at the 20 yard line. Oh my goodness. They go no huddle here. Second and short. Throw over the middle, touchdown. Mike Gesicki has tied this game. What a game he's had. So Hamler is back to receive it. They still have a minute and a half left. Hamler will take this one. Up, oh, Hamler has a huge hole. 43 yard line. KJ Hamler puts him in really good position. Now the question is, did they score too fast? Denver has all three of their timeouts. That one goes to Cortland Sutton. He doesn't get out of bounds and they will hurry up to the line. They're already close to field goal position. As throw outside, caught. Sutton gets out of bounds with 50 seconds left and they're in field goal range. So they come out. Three tight ends, and they will throw over the middle. Sutton's got it. First timeout called by Miami. Second and goal. They will give it to Gordon, and he doesn't get in. So on comes the field goal team. This should be a chip shot. It's up, and it is good. Denver wins. Like I said, this was one of my favorite games I've played on Madden in a long time. Uh, Drew Locke, I thought he played pretty well today. Uh, he did throw one interception. Rushing, Melvin Gordon was really good on the ground. They both got uh, 10 plus carries, 10 and 11. Kareem Jackson and, uh, and Bryce Callahan. So that will do it for today. Uh, that was a really good game. It was pretty fun for me to watch or for me to play. And I, uh, I hope you guys have fun watching it. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.